transformer is probably one of the most important and useful electrical device ever invented. It can change the magnitude of alternating voltage from one value to another. This useful property of transformer is mainly responsible for the widespread of alternating current rather than direct current because the electric power is generated transmitted and distributed in the form of alternating current or ac current now the transformer have no moving parts so it is very rugged and durable in construction also the efficiency of the transformer is very high as high as 99% so in this video we are going to learn about the basic working principle of a transformer to better understanding please watch the video till the end now we see the definition of a transformer transformer is a static electromagnetic device which transform electrical energy from one circuit to another with electromagnetic induction without changing the frequency now we see the construction of a single phase transformer it consists of two windings the primary and secondary the two windings wound on a common laminated magnetic core which of the winding connected to the ac source is called primary winding and which of the winding is connected to the load is called the secondary winding so please note that we can easily choose any one of the two windings as the primary winding and hence the other winding act as a secondary winding now we applying a alternating voltage v1 those magnitude is to be changed is connected to the primary winding depending upon the number of turns of the primary winding that is n1 and secondary winding that is n2 an alternating emf e2 is induced in the secondary winding of the transformer now induced emf in the secondary cause a secondary current i2 now consider terminal voltage v2 will appear across the load if the output voltage greater than the input voltage then it is called a step up transformer on the other hand if the output voltage less than the input voltage then it is called a step down transformer now to understand how the voltage will build up in the secondary let's see the working principle of the transformer first a alternating voltage v1 is applied to the primary winding of the transformer it produces a alternating current in the primary winding of the transformer we all know that if we apply a direct current to a coil of wire it produces a constant magnetic flux because the direction of the current is constant but for alternating current the polarity of the current changes 50 times per second in india because our power frequency is 50 hertz so now an alternating magnetic flux phi is set up in the core material of the transformer this alternating flux link both of the winding and induced an emf e1 for primary and e2 for secondary the emf is induced according to the faraday's law of electromagnetic induction now please note that the magnitude of e1 and e2 depend upon the number of turns on the primary and secondary winding respectively so it means if the number of turns in secondary is greater than primary then the voltage is induced greater than the applied input voltage now 
if load is connected across the secondary winding of the transformer the secondary emf e2 will cause a current i2 to flow through the load thus a transformer able to transfer ac power from one circuit to another with a change in voltage level now the following point may be noted very carefully the transformer action is based on the law of electromagnetic induction second there is no electrical connection between the primary and secondary winding of the transformer the ac power is transferred from primary to secondary through magnetic flux third there is no change in frequency that mean the output voltage has the same frequency as the input voltage fourth there is no change in power that mean the input power is equal to the output power of the transformer we all know that ac power is equal to voltage into current into cos phi cos phi is the power factor of the circuit for ease of calculation we consider unity power factor so the power is equal to voltage into current now for example a step up transformer let the input voltage be 5 volt and the input ampere be 2 ampere so the power is 10 watt now if the transformer increase the voltage from 5 volt to 10 volt then to keep the power constant that is 10 watt the output current automatically decrease to 1 ampere so the output power is also 10 watt in other word the voltage is stepped up but current is stepped down now we are talking about the losses occur in the transformer first cold loss second variable loss cold loss is also called constant loss and copper loss is also called variable loss the cold loss happened due to eddy current and hysteresis loss and the copper loss happened because the resistance of the primary and secondary winding it is the loss occur due to the resistance in the winding the winding are made up of copper so it is called as copper loss we study in details about cold loss and copper loss in the next video so stay tuned for that now depending upon the manner in which the primary and secondary are wound on the code transformer are of two types first code type transformer second shell type transformer for code type half of the primary winding and half of the secondary winding are placed around each limb this reduce the leakage flux it is a usual practice to place the low voltage winding below the high voltage winding both the windings are placed around the center limb the other two limbs are acting simply as a low reluctance flux path. The choice of type of core, whether core or shell type, will not generally affect the efficiency of the transformer. The core type is generally more suitable for high voltage and small output, while the shell type is generally more suitable for low voltage and high output now we are talking about the types of transformer there are various types of transformer used in electrical power system for different purpose like transmission distribution of electrical power the different types of transformer are mainly instrumental transformer step up step down transformer single phase and three phase transformer power transformer distribution transformer and under the instrumental transformer there are two types one current transformer and two potential transformer all the transformers are employed for different purpose 
but the working principle are the same of each and every transformer now let's quickly summarize the video transformer is a electrostatic device which transfer power from one circuit to another without changing the frequency it works on the principle of mutual induction of two coil or faraday's law of electromagnetic induction so that's all for this video transformer is a very vast chapter so i could not cover all the topics if you want to know more about the transformer please let me know in the comment section i think now you are understand how a transformer works and what is the working principle behind that that's all for this video guys i will see you my next video until then please stay safe and stay at home Thank you.